Thank you for this. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost. <laughs> what an interesting name. Mine's Calypso. What, sorry? Lost. It's not a name you have every day. And I said mine's Calypso. Like the music. Like me. Is that your real name? Given to me by my father himself. I'm Odyssea. Odyssea. It's so beautiful. Where are you coming from? I was sailing home from Troy when You're my ship- soldier? Was a soldier, just a traveler now. A hero. A lost hero. How foolish of the world to let you get misplaced. Your hair has such a beautiful wave to it. <laughs> it was straight when I left. All the years at sea must have gotten jealous. Not easily, huh? I didn't. I don't. Shh. I used to be worth a fortune, you know. I'm giving you this for free. I'm sorry, I really need to go. This was, um, I need to go home. You really don't, you can stay. There are people waiting for my return. Your parents? Yes, and my friends, my wife, Penelope. Is she beautiful? More beautiful than anyone else ever could be. Not that I you- I understand. Then you should go to her. Thank you, yes, I really should. Then go to her. Why wait? Yes, thank you. I really should. Uh, morning. I've really enjoyed this, but I'm sorry, I need to go. There's just... So warm, hot, sticky like the last summer or the summer before. I think about how different we are from each other, but everyone sweats the same, don't they? There are trees with little to bear for us except teeth that seem to be nothing like mine when looking at them through a forgotten body of water. My stomach has found porcelain at last. I'm forced to know my body in untender ways, an apparition of someone I know but do not understand. Hate is born from misunderstanding, they say. A scar in the wastelands of France or Sri Lanka, grassed and lilac but not gone. I have no legs, no back to touch when I am awake in the night. I have no arms. Your arms, your arms, your arms. 
small but holding everything like the world, they pluck my eyes from me and twist them around until they're yours. For five months, these three weeks, and many days later, I will give and give and give and give and give. But not everything. You don't need everything. You don't need everything. And you wrote that? Oh, no. I wish I could say I did, but to steal something so beautiful should be criminal. It's, well, that's called plagiarism. Yes, it is. Actually, is plagiarism a crime or just something frowned upon in schools? I guess it's like copyright. Oh, oh yeah. Yes? Is there anything you'd like to do now? I'm done reading for a while. Do you want to go to the coast? It's so late. <laughs> the beach is so much better at night. A at least I think so. It's so quiet, not too chilly. You don't have to fight for space in the sand. You just get to sit there and listen to the world and talk about things only an ocean can make f you feel like saying. And if you stay out all night, you can watch the sunrise on the water or just while everyone is asleep and just getting ready for their day, you can spend the last of your night driving through a town you only get to see when you go back to the beach. You can stop for gas drowsy but full of energy at dawn and look for a restaurant you've never been to before. And maybe they have fresh Louisiana style beignets or the worst coffee in the whole world. But it's okay because you just need it to get home. It's, I don't think it's late at all. Not for the coast. Odysia? Yes. Do you want to go to the coast? Mmm, I don't know. Kind of late anyway. <gasps> Do you want to? I don't think I've ever wanted anything more. Could you lead the way?
Make me forget again. Go! Make me go, forget go, again. Go, 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 I'd rather be dead here than alive knowing. I don't know. I can't go back. Not like, not like this. sure how deep. Some days I'd imagine coming here when it was warmer <laughs> and sit and stare at them at the steps. I think that's when I wanted to leave the most. There's something so inviting about steps leading into the water. It's like the ocean calling me home. Um, and some days I'd imagine following those steps to someplace else, someplace more beautiful than this where the sun doesn't set or rise and, and some days I imagine walking those steps, seeing just how deep they go, chains at my feet weighing me down so that even if I never got anywhere, I didn't have to be here. Not until some diver or swimming child found me and dragged what's left of me onto the sand, if they ever did. But that's not happy, and I won't be sad now, not while I'm here with you. I have no reason to be sad at all. Even if I can't leave. Well, I couldn't leave either. Not when you're here. I can't imagine a reason I want to leave. Tell me another story. About what? Anything you want. Have I told you the story about the whirlpool that swallowed and vomited and swallowed the ocean I sailed past? Or about my pet rabbit and how I lived to be actually, so... Actually, can we actually go? I, I don't think I really want to be here anymore. Can't we just... Yeah, of course. Let's go. life a little scary? Is it scary for you? War? Why? What's the difference? Yes. Living like this. Uh, of course, who isn't a little afraid of life? Is there anyone who isn't a little afraid? I guess not. It's nice, though, knowing that everyone is a little afraid like you. Knowing that no matter how alone in your fear you feel, there's Billions of other people who feel exactly the same. We aren't meant to survive alone. We survive together. I love you. I, uh... Good morning. I'm sorry, I've really enjoyed this, but I really need to go. There's...
Dear Penelope, Odyssea is terrible in bed. I think I hate her. I have to. She smells and whines and she can be terribly moody. She breathes too loudly when she sleeps. She tastes like cold oatmeal. She can't clean a dish at the risk of losing the energy to tell me the same story she has told me a million times. She's constantly getting colds. You have to see me as a kidnapper. But all these years are not long compared to a life, to my life. I can only hope you'll understand. Odyssea. Her name hits my tongue like a bruise, but still, I'm sorry to say this, I find comfort in it. In her. My heart is rusted in the tears she has shed in her sleep over you. I, I have not asked anything about you since the first night she arrived, and yet she dreams of your name for me to hear every night. And, and I force my hands into the shape of a shell so that my ears can hear of only the ocean and nothing you. I have been here for an eternity. Stuck. You must think of me as an idiot. How could I know about your world? It's a good thing not knowing much. Maybe I'll change. Or I won't. There must be old versions of me and new versions of me lying in the dirt, rotting. But here I am, sitting here, existing now, peeling and slicing away at lives until they turn into fruit. And then lying them on my finest plates like they're for guests. But I'm eating them myself, aren't I? She has forgotten you every single day. You know? But she's stuck too. Maybe that's why I love her. Her mind has been stuck for an eternity away from me in Ithaca. You must think of me as an idiot. But I do know something you'll never know. I know what it is to be in love, but to not be loved. It must be a great thing not knowing much. I'm sure this letter will never reach you. They never do. You can live in bliss, your savior, Calypso. Morning, sorry, but you should go. Uh, well, yes, I really should. Um, do I, do I owe you anything? No, for you it's on the house. Oh, well, thank you. Do you know the way? You'll find your way home. You always will. Okay. Thank you. 